Hi, welcome to Explore Niagara. Today we're answering the question, how do I get a boat past this thing? We're here right in front of the old stone chimney, the last remnants of Fort Petit Niagara, also known as Fort Schlosser. This fort was important as it protected the Niagara Portage. The Niagara Portage was actually, for a very long time, the only way to get goods past Niagara Falls without going over the waterfall, which would be a very bad idea. This meant that right up the river, before the falls itself, you'd have to take all of your goods out of the water and carry them by land all the way down a seven mile stretch down the Niagara Escarpment and along to Lewiston to re-enter the water at the lower Niagara River and through Lake Ontario and back out to sea. Unfortunately, the portage route along Niagara was excessively costly. To transport as much goods as the budding United States would in the 1800s would have cost a small fortune. Luckily, in 1825, the Erie Canal was completed right through the state of New York. This allowed water access straight across between the Hudson River and the Atlantic Ocean all the way through the Great Lakes with plentiful supply of goods. This rapidly increased the industrialization of America and the budding of America's grand future. Fast forward to today. The Erie Canal is no longer used for large transport. It is mainly used for leisure vessels and personal watercraft. The much larger Welland Canal in Ontario is the main way for freighters to get between Lake Erie and Lake Ontario. From there, they actually head right through here at gorgeous Lake Ontario, which oftentimes these freighters can actually be seen right here from Old Fort Niagara State Park as they continue down the lake towards the St. Lawrence River and eventually the Atlantic Ocean. And that's how you get around Niagara Falls. If you enjoy exciting content like this, be sure to subscribe to our channel. And to plan your vacation here in Niagara Falls, visit explore-niagara.com.